Hey, you're watching Picking with Zach. It's a uh, Monday morning. Got a lot of good picks yesterday on Sunday, the flea market. I'm just gonna show stuff off. Saturday was not um, really fruitful, so I don't think from Saturday, but I already made a Thursday, Friday video, which is very good. And we're gonna start off with this cool old Coca Cola sign. It's cardboard. Uh, judging by that, I think it's like, I don't know, 80s maybe. Not sure what language it is. Uh, my sister collects Coke stuff. So that's going to go to her. And we got this cool cast iron roaster I picked up. Uh, it's not marked. The lid's weird because it's got holes, which doesn't really make sense. I think it's just decorative. I don't think it's super old. The bear is very cool. I just bought it because I've never seen one. And, um, unless somebody likes it more than I do, I'm probably going to keep it. And I think I paid like 15 bucks for that. Uh, what else we got here? We got an Echo uh, trimmer here. This is a uh, GT225. It's pretty nice. Lightly used. Probably at like 85 bucks for that. Might just go on like Craigslist or something. I got three... Oh, focused out there. Hello, focus. There we go, a little Three different number three Wagner cast irons. I got an O. And unmarked. And then just a little bit newer than the O there. Um, those are probably just going a lot for like 50 bucks, $55, something like that maybe. And I got this. This is pretty decent. This is a uh, Martin uh stove and range company number three it's like 60 bucks i was surprised oh i got a couple favorites out of pickle ohio it's a number seven kind of an odd number it's a lot of eights i got a number 10 favorite firing there these are really actually these are really clean skillets um and that's, those are both like 70 bucks, yep, maybe. I got number 10 Wagner. Uh, it's a, this is an O, it's a little older. Really good shape. Probably again in the 60 to 70 range shipped, maybe. And then I got, uh, this is a, a 12 gauge barrel. I believe it's a Remington barrel. Uh, okay, this is probably worth a hundred. It's pretty good shape. Got the full bent rib. It's a, let's say, I'm, I'm assuming this is a 28 inch, might be a 24 inch barrel. Probably worth a hundred to 150. They, they vary a lot. I got this big guy, big plug in blower. Uh, it's Cincinnati Fan and Ventilator Company. Um, not sure what that's worth. Probably like 50 to 100 bucks. But I, I got a couple guys that do blast, but then they might want that. I'm going to save that. We've got two of these. New in the package. Tapco Interfuse stocks. Uh, one's from Ruger Mini 14 or 30. And the other one's for Ruger 1022. Um, and those are 100 or so dollars a piece. Got a couple camcorders. It's a little JVC. It's probably worth 20, 30 bucks. I don't have a charger for that one. And I got the Samsung with a bag and charger and everything. This guy's actually selling really well. It's selling for like $100, $150. What a surprise. But you, you'll find those sometimes. So when you're at garage sales, the flea market, whatever, and you see these camcorders, they are outdated. But you look up numbers on them because like sometimes they're worth almost nothing. But sometimes they're money. Got this Braun S3 Razor. Uh... Pretty good shape, came with a charger, 30 bucks. Brand new Chicago, uh, was it Chicago Electric? Yeah, 
Chicago Electric uh, Chainsaw Sharpener. I actually have one of these. I bought this for a buddy's brand in the box. Um, I bought it for a buddy because he's always using mine. I got this piece right here. It's pretty slick. It is um, hand cut jade. Assuming it's Asian. It's pretty well done. I'm not sure how old it is. I don't know a lot. I have a buddy. I'm going to send some pictures to and see what he thinks about it. He's much more knowledgeable than I. Bushnell Rangefinder. Uh, it's worth 40, 50 bucks. This is a really cool early Craftsman Ratchet. This is the uh, selector to go back and forth between on and off. Um, it works. I didn't even check. Uh, it's probably worth 10 to 20 bucks. Oh my, it's probably worth like $20. I don't know. It was just neat. Um, transit level. It's a, it's a white. It's a David White transit level. It's probably, I didn't even look. It's probably worth $50 to $100. Could be worth more. I'll be surprised and happy. This is kind of cool. This is a Gruen. And this is a ladies' watch set. And then it's got all these different bezels and bands to go with it. I think it's only worth like $30 to $40. Um, I've had these that are Gucci before. And they're usually like $150 or so. They don't have bands in the Gucci set, so they have bezel covers. A couple of nice PS2 games. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot games are always good. Those should be worth like $20 together in a lot. PS2 Slim. It's a silver. Uh, I didn't, didn't pry, uh, 40 bucks if it works. If not, I didn't pay a lot for it. No big deal. Garmin. This is a um, Dry Smart 5 inch. Uh, it's like brand new. 80, 100 bucks. The box is rough. I was really happy with these. I got two of these. And if you don't know what these are, be on the lookout for these. I've bought, I must say I bought about 10 of these over the years. This is a Metro Master Blaster. Um, and these are, uh, they're blow dryers for farm animals, dog groomers, stuff like that. And those are worth around two fifty a piece used. I do have hoses for them. I don't have any other attachments or anything like that. And I got I got two of those, so that was pretty cool. I got this real nice gun belt, got an equestrian theme. Uh, it's hand tooled. Um, it's not marked. It's got the WW there on the back. To me, that's for whoever whoever it was for. But it's it's done up all the way through. Probably worth 75 bucks, maybe more. Might be a little tough because uh, a lot of times you find vintage gun belts and they're not really big. Because back in the day, we weren't all so fat. And, uh, or just large in general. You had these skinny little cowboys with like size 30 jeans. Or these gun belts. So, a lot of times there wasn't much space on top of that. Lee Reloader. Uh, this thing is pretty much brand new. Um, I bought this with a bunch of stuff. I didn't price check it. I'm thinking 40, 50 bucks from what I've sold in the past. And I also got this MEC. This is a primer feeder for a shotgun, um, reloader for a, um, where's your escape me today? One second. For a, uh, Progressive shotgun reloader. Sorry. I mean, I've got one. I don't even know what it's called. A little Panasonic uh, voice recorder. Voice recorders usually sell well. Generally, used voice recorders are starting the $20 range. They go up from there. To sometimes a lot. So if you pick them up for a few dollars, pick them up. It's always a good deal. This is a uh, magazine. It's pretty much new. 
It's for a Springfield um, XDS 45. Um, oh, gun parts. If you don't know, on eBay, you can sell barrels. You can sell anything but receivers for most stuff. You're not supposed to sell anything that's for assault weapons. Um, so I'm going to have to work some magic to get mini 14, mini 30 stock on. And you can sell magazines that are 10 rounds or under. So this is about a $30 magazine. The guy had some other magazines. They were like 15, 17 rounds as factory mags for um, other guns. I just can't eBay those. Another reloading tool. I got the other stuff. It's probably worth 20, 30 bucks. I can't remember what that's called off the top of my head. I got this cool muscle machines uh, charger, go lime green with some other stuff. It's I don't know, fifteen bucks maybe. Um, just back a little bit. I'll pick this up. This is a knee scooter. That one's a Carmen brand. Those generally sell for. $125 used. I'll just fold up. It won't be too bad to ship. Picked up this new in the box. Delta faucet. Box been in the garage for a while. It's kind of beat up. Uh, it's like 80 to 100 bucks. Couple watches here. And an Echo Drive Citizen. 17 Jill Benrus manual wind with a date on it. With a, and these both work. Um, 30 bucks or so a piece, maybe more. This is the Glock um, tactical knife. Made in Austria. I haven't had one of these in a while. I think these are worth like 30 or 40 bucks. That's kind of cool. This is a little Corgi. It's a uh, Cooper Maserati from one racer. It's like 20, 25 bucks. A box one's really expensive. This needs a little love. This is a uh, original model Weaver V22 scope. Really good glass though. I uh, just needs cleaned up some. They usually do. This is a, uh, I think it's a one to four magnification scope. It's about 40 bucks. This guy was cool. It's got a cool little case here. And then it's just a uh, compass made in Germany. Uh, Posts brand. You'll see the little uh, sets of these and garage sales and stuff. It's like a little set like that. Folds up. It's got a whole bunch of, you know, uh, compasses and stuff. This is a little, they're kind of chintzy and really well made. This is really well made. That's a better one. It's probably 20 bucks. I like the little case and everything. Kind of why I bought it. I got some new Burr bits. Uh, who made these ones? Acromatic. They still have the rubber seals on them. They're prop. I mean, they're probably worth 20 bucks a piece. Look for Burr bits. If you get Burr bits that aren't used especially, like nice USA made ones. Uh, you can be looking at pretty good money a lot of times, 20, 30 bucks for some, 10 bucks a piece, a lot, I mean just small ones. I bought little sets, they're like $100, just got like eight of them in it. So definitely good buys. I got a lot of knives this weekend. Mm, can't read this, says. It says Oriscani Waterberry something. And it's a, um, a Camilus. Yeah, it's a little Camilus from like the 80s, 70s. Pocket knives, probably worth 15, 20 bucks. Got this George Schrade uh, Scout Kit. It's got the folding fork, folding knife. Put that one up there with a can opener and the spoon. And it's got the sheath, and the sheath's pretty decent. Ooh, that's not good. Right now. And, um, wow, what did I do? That's crazy. And this guy's worth like 35 bucks, I think, something like that. Hmm, I have to put that back in place. It's kind of a generic uh, 
Delrin Handled Pal from hmm, this pal is probably in the 40s or 50s. It's got a really full blade. It's not in bad shape. It's probably worth 20 bucks. Got this LF and C. It's a gunstock jack. It's got a fluted bolster. It's not in terrible shape. It's got stamped bolster. It's got a stamped lower bolster there. It's um. It's got um. It's called Delrin Stag handles. Aren't real stag. It's worth like twenty five bucks. And I got this guy here. This is a uh, Hankel's Twins made in Germany. Stag Whitler, a little three blade. It's got real pretty handles. I'm gonna say it's worth like 40 or 50 bucks. Trade LB7 in the case. It's in good shape. Uh, it's probably worth 25 or 30 bucks. Case is nice, it's not been on a belt. You got a G96 folding fillet knife. I think this is called a sportsman mop something knife. They call this. Uh, these are made in Japan in the 80s. And G96 is Jet Air Corporation. And they're kind of sleepers. This is like a $40 knife. I got this Ken Folks. Um, it's like a Marble's Ideal pattern. It's in pretty, I mean, it's pretty full. Um, some military sheet. This one's probably probably worth fifty bucks, approximately. And then I got this. That's a Schrade case, which is wrong. But this is a three. It's a three dot buck one ten, in like unsharpened condition. And you find buck one tens. Best way to tell that they're older buck one tens that the edges on the signs are really a lot sharper and harsher than newer ones made after I think the 90s and past that 90s and prior or post 90s I mean um, they're gonna be more rounded so the older ones are a little sharper edged and that guy is pretty nice it should be around 70 to 100 dollars time is it 17 minutes and then I'm going to show you guys the coolest thing that I've bought in a while. <clears throat> this is a camera lens. This one's got some stuff floating around in it um, from the inside, like a seal. Got, got uh, dry rotted, fell apart. These do come apart. These, I have four of these. Uh, one's Bausch & Lom, and then three of them are, them are Carl's Ice. These are 75 centimeters wide um, lenses, and I believe they came off of airplanes. I'm not sure what period. Uh, I'm not sure what they're worth. I don't know if they're worth 100 bucks. I don't know if they're worth 500 bucks. I don't know if they're worth $5,000. Uh, I had to buy them. They're something different that I've never seen. Uh, so I'm just going to, I couldn't find one like them at all. So I'm just going to you know, try to figure that out and go from there. Um, real quick. I bought an air conditioner. Um, some other stuff in the garage that I bought that I just can't remember. Oh, I was given a seat for like a hover round. And those do sell okay. It was, it was a decent condition seat. Kind of a pain to ship. It might be like a $100 bill. Um, I think that was it for things I bought to sell. I bought things for myself that I just don't show in the videos. Other cast iron things and stuff like that. They're just things that I wanted. But I guess that's it. And on my next video I'm gonna try to get a better lighting situation so you guys can see and like the back's not so washed out. Um, I do have a light that was for a um came from a veterinary office that closed down like in the nineties. It's like one of those overhead lights over like a doctor. I'm going to try to get the, that rigged up in here. I can just hang it from the ceiling or something. So I can get better light on me and on the stuff. And then not so much in the background. Well, you guys have a good one.